I've been on you, but you're over there playing with me And I'm just gonna, girl, you should come over Wanna feel your vibe, I love the shit that you're saying to me Yeah, we ain't got, ain't got corona unless you really want to Yeah Alright guys, so welcome back So, as you can see, I went ahead and I, um did my eyebrows off camera if you're interested in seeing an updated or my a detailed eyebrow tutorial rather go ahead and check out this link right here that's it you can always pause this video watch that and come back but yeah if you want to watch this out in full and check that out afterwards the link will be down below all right i just did my brows i didn't do anything else so what i'm gonna do is go ahead and you know moisturize then prime my face to moisturize i'm gonna just use my bar sally rose gold elixir and you know this is just a radiating moisturizer but you never get away with this Amazing Cosmetics Line Smoother Plus Primer. It's the first time I'm actually trying out this um, primer that I got from Amazing Cosmetics. It's not focusing. Actually, this balls, what it says in the direction is that you're supposed to apply it. So you're supposed to roll it. Oh. So now that I've primed those areas, I'm gonna go in with my concealer. You guys know how I do it now. You guys saw me use the Amazing Cosmetics Concealer. Now I'm gonna be going in with the um, Amazing Cosmetics Amazing Concealer and this is in the shade Light Caramel. Now I feel like I should have gotten a darker shade because this is a tad too light for me. I feel like this is at least like four shades lighter than me. But what I'm gonna do to correct that is just mix it up with my regular concealer, which you guys know I always use, which is my Pro Concealer from LA Girls. And this is in the shade Toffee. So what I'm gonna actually do is use the Toffee as a base. Just a tad, I don't want too much. Make me feel like Now that I've done that, what I'm actually gonna go in and do is take the Amazing Cons Cosmetics Conceal and I'm going to kind of like amp up the highlight just beneath my eyes. I'm not going to take it on my forehead, nose, and chin because, as I said, I feel like it's way too light. I just took a little bit and put it on my hand like one pump, and it's so thick, guys. It's a very thick concealer. So I, just, I even feel like I kind of took a bit too much out. So I'm just going to put this much here. And then I'm going to go ahead and burn that out. And already you can see how awake my eyes look. And I must say, it's, it comes out very smooth and flawless on my skin. It looks so good. And I'm just gonna take a little bit on my nose bridge. Barely dabbing on it, barely. And whatever is left over, I just put it on the forehead. And my nose looks so slim and I haven't even contoured or anything. As you can see, I don't know if you can see from there, but I, because the concealer is so thick, it, it creases easily. So you have to make sure you go in and set it 
So I'm actually gonna go, go back in with my beauty blender under my eyes and then I'm gonna go in with my Sasha Buttercup my Sasha Buttercup powder I don't go straight into baking I like to set the area with a little bit of the powder first before I actually bake Somebody's Now the next step is actually going with my the powder I use on the rest of my face which is my Milani um, compact makeup which is in warm and before I contour because today I'm going to be doing some contour but powder contouring. I was thinking about doing cream contouring at first but then I said nah. You make me feel like there's something that I shouldn't do. got makeup on the hut <laughs> all right so guys now that I got the powder I'm gonna use the same powder to go down on the sides of my nose it's not really much of a contour but because the highlight is lighter than my natural shade it will give the illusion it already looks like it's contour which is not which it's not mm, but this color um this the powder would just actually help to cover the size of my nose which I didn't apply much product to So now I'm going to go into some contouring. I'm going to be taking my Tartiste Contour Palette, which is a palette that Sheila came out with in collaboration with Tarte Cosmetics. And I used this a couple times already. You guys didn't use this already. And I'm going to be going in with this shade here, this one. using this and I'm actually running the angle brush in a circular motion that it don't look like one definite line going back and forth and I, as you can see I didn't add any more product I'm just blending blending this out it's, it's really the hollows of my cheek that I concentrate um, the contour and I don't I just take a little bit whatever is left over on the brush on my chin now we're gonna move on to baking so I'm going back in with my Sasha buttercup powder now today for this look I'm gonna be doing some reverse contouring because we're going dramatic with the eyes and I just feel like I wanna go all out. <laughs> so I forgot to mention to you if you're wondering about my contact lens, these are green contact lens that I got from Belongies.com. But yeah, the link for that will be down below so you can check that out if you're interested. So yeah. Alright, so now jumping into the eye, it's gonna be like an olive and like cranberry or yeah, like olive and cranberry smoky eye. So but first I'm gonna kind of warm up my transition, my crease area just so we have a warm looking type of transition then we can go in with our reds I'm going into my um, Ofra Pro Palette and I'm taking this shade this is a very light matte um, neutral shade like you don't care you know what makes this much worse I still care about you you make me feel like there's something that before I go any further, I'm going to dust away the area that I apply the powder for my reverse contouring. I'm gonna go into my Modern Renaissance palette now. Yes, I know I've been using this a lot since lately, but it's because I've been loving the shades that are in this palette so much. I'm gonna be taking Venetian Red and Red Ochre to apply this transition shade. Right about now. Heartbreaks make the perfect song. Now I'm actually 
going to be going into my Morphe brushes palette and this is in this is the 35s palette today i'm gonna be taking this shade here okay guys so before i do that i'm gonna take a bit of my concealer to base my lids my lower lid for the shadow that i'm about to put on And now I'm gonna be going in. I'm going in with the next green. So I'm actually going to add some black to intensify it a bit. So I'm going into my Too Faced palette and I'm using Licorice. That's the black shade in there. Okay guys, so now that I've done that, I'm going to take the same red reds that we took in the transition um, area on my lash line. Now I'm going to take a tad, a tad of Cypress Umber, which is the matte brown on the outer portion of the lash line. Somebody's going to care and you make me feel you won't hurt like you would in here and you know what makes this much worse is I still care. I'm not sure I'm going to be lining the waterline though, the lower waterline, but I'm going to be doing my wing liner now. Oh no. no. Heartbreaks makes a perfect zone. So I leave the lower waterline as is. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and prep my lashes before I apply my fuzzies with mascara. Now I'm um, going to apply the mascara both to my upper and lower lashes because you guys know I love my lower lashes to be well accentuated. I'm brush away all this powder I used to bake. So I'm using my Maybelline New York the Fawzi's Volume Express Water um, Waterproof Mascara. I'm gonna go ahead and apply my lashes off camera. I have a detailed lash application um, tutorial, so you can go ahead and check that out. The link will be down below. Um, the lashes that I'm applying are Stacey, and this is from Southern Beauty. I've used these multiple times. When I step, I use them like a million times before. I love these lashes. They're like um, a, the, um, one of my most favorite dramatic. They're very dramatic, as you can see. They're long and dramatic, very full. You see how dramatic these lashes make the eyes? Like, super dramatic, which is definitely what I was going for. So yeah, I mean, I've done so many neutral looks from the other day that I just feel like, you know, I want a little bit of drama in my life now. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to apply a fall. I put it right layer I'm gonna go in with my artist couture from Angel Marino and this is in conceited when I leave this earth, somebody's gonna care and you make me feel you won't hurt like you don't care you know what makes this much worse I still care about you 
you make me feel like there's something that I shouldn't do. Hey, hey, hey. I feel like I'm gonna go with a brown lip. I feel like I'm gonna go with Fedric from Lena Cosmetics. believe I only applied one layer I didn't have to go back in and apply a second layer and it dried on so fast so that's it for this look right about now heartbreaks makes the perfect song make the perfect song 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 yeah and a heartache make a single song